Here's why your anxiety symptoms are staying alive. Now, I want you to think about something. Let's say if you're having a physical symptom, intrusive thoughts, DPDR, and you can't make it go away. Now shift that from that problem to let's say an external problem. Let's say you have an external problem. Let's say it's a work problem. Now that problem is there and it doesn't seem to resolve itself. So what do you do? Well, what I would do is I would focus on it. I would try to see exactly what's going on, really try to understand the problem because if I can understand the problem, I can probably figure out the solution. Now, what a lot of people do is that they use that same exact approach, that logical intellectual mindset, the dissection, and apply it to anxiety, their symptoms, whether that's intrusive thoughts, heart palpitations, dizziness, nausea. They focus on it. Well, they could probably figure out what's triggering it, what's causing it, and that's how it would go away. But that's not how it works. Actually, something interesting happens with anxiety. It doesn't follow the same laws that you would apply into the external world. And that is the more you focus on the symptom, the more it grows. Anxiety has a lot to do with attention. If you focus your attention on something, that problem will magnify in itself. So even though the symptom might not be that intense, well, when you focus on it, it seems a lot bigger. Now, I'm not saying these symptoms aren't intense. In fact, I know how intense your symptoms are. But recognize the problem is that it's the approach. Anxiety is like a magnifying glass. The more you look at it, the more it grows. It's an amplifier. So what do you do? Well, a lot of people will say, maybe I need to distract myself. Well, okay, I won't focus on it. How do you not focus on this? Number one, understand why you're experiencing the symptoms. You have to be very clear on why these symptoms are happening and recognize that there isn't something wrong with you or your body is broken. Learning how the fight or flight response works and the sympathetic nervous system is a great place to start. Then number two, once you realize that these symptoms aren't dangerous, then the next thing is to respond to the symptoms. I'll give you a hint, by responding, I mean just letting it be there, not trying to fight it, not trying to resist it, not trying to focus on it, not fearing it, not getting frustrated by it. The third thing is let the symptoms be there, recognize you're safe, that there is no danger, and then start living life again and let the symptoms be there with you. Eventually the symptoms will go away as you get busy with life, as you teach your nervous system that there is no threat. Just telling your nervous system, hey, why is this here? Oh, I'm fine, oh, go away. That's not how it works. Your nervous system learns by watching you do something. So if you're letting the symptoms be there, go back to living, well, it'll go away. It doesn't happen overnight. And the truth is that you've created a habit of having these symptoms for a while and ho constantly focusing on it. Now I say don't focus on it, it's not gonna be that easy. But when you recognize you do focus on it, just shift it. Just instead of focusing on the symptoms saying, oh yeah, I used to do that, that's a bad habit, I'll just focus on what I need to do. If you wanna learn more, check out the resources on my page.